Okay, y'all. Do I look exhausted? I am. It has been a long day. Um, I was this morning early. I was skimming through um, some comments. I don't think I answered any. And I was kind of going back and forth about whether I should go see Chobby. Well, I decided I was going to do it. I'm a big girl. I'm very cautious because of the way Miss Hazel was. I just, I just can't, you know, handle that again. And so I just dropped Terry off. He went with me and Mariah. And so there was the man test and the other dog test. So let me tell you about her. Gosh, Jerry put uh, Freon in the van. And I mean, it'll freeze you out of here. So first of all, I have to tell y'all, that picture of her did not do her justice. She was adorable. And her eyes were um, not... Okay, go ahead. Her eyes were not really yellow, but they were very bright and pretty. Now, I thought that I could have sworn this is, is what they said, that um, one parent was a standard poodle, and the other parent was a smaller poodle and they said she's not she's kind of small um smaller and um so i was prepared for that but the reason that her hair looked like it did i i don't it it just really was the picture but here's the thing her mother was a standard poodle and beautiful. He showed me her picture. And the daddy was a poodle and I would say a wire-haired terrier. Now that's how come she didn't have that tight like this poodle hair. She was so sweet. You could tell she had not been socialized. Um, she didn't know how to walk on a leash. She was very timid. I um, touched her all over. I picked up her feet. And she gave a little resistance, but no nothing. I stroked her little mouth touched her ears um, she um, I had bought some treats for her and she was so gentle and she actually was just licking the treat that was in my fingers so basically what this little girl is used to is her backyard and her owner, which I don't know why I thought it was a woman that I was talking to all that time, but we were just texting. And so, um, but it turns out it was a man. 
And so, he was a little hard to understand. I don't, I don't know what his nationality was. Asian, I think. So, um, but he told me, he was very honest. He goes, I, she, she doesn't stay in the house. I said, well, when did you get her? And he said, um, I've had her. She, you know, she was a baby. And, um, so, you know, she was, uh, you know, timid, which dogs tend to be when they're not used to being around other people. They have not, um, I'm going to pull over right here. Um. Because I'm trying to think about... Usually, I just yak, yak, yak. And I don't have a problem. But I, I just want to concentrate on what I'm saying. Um, so, you know, she he said... I said, well, how is she in the house? And um, he said, I, I really don't know because she doesn't stay in the house. And I said, so she's not potty trained. He goes, no. She's always outside. Potty training um, is not hard. It's not hard at all. I've potty trained a lot of larger dogs and little dogs. Um, so, um, she never offered to jump at all. Um, when we were standing there talking to each other, I was holding her leash, and she just laid down on the ground. When he said she was calm, he meant it. She was the calmest little thing. And um, although when she got warmed up to you, I bet she'd be a good ball chaser. Um, so... It was really, I mean, she was so cute. And um, she needed a bath. And she needed, uh, the only grooming really that she would need would be to clean her ears and uh, trim her sanitary areas. Things like that, just little stuff. But her, um, her hair, and she didn't shed. She didn't shed. And, um, so, bless her heart. And, and I even said, well, you know, I thought she was all poodle. And, um, so then we were talking about his, his her dad being poodle and terrier. She did not bark, not one time. Took her over to the van and introduced her to Terry. And she stood right there while Terry petted her. And then we got her and Mariah nose to nose. And she just, you know, greeted her and then just didn't really pay any attention to her. But here's the only reason that I didn't get Miss Chobby. And Hazel was thrilled because she was way too big to wear Hazel's sweaters. But um, I forget what what they call it. There's different names for it. But a dog can be nervous. And usually, uh, it's little dogs is what I've seen it in. But they, when they get scared or nervous, they tinkle. They have that nervous pee-pee. That scared, uh, anxious pee pee and I was that close that close 
I could teach her to walk on a leash. I could socialize her. She really was nine months old. Uh, I saw her shot records and um, she let me look at her teeth. Beautiful white teeth. Um, no bad breath. She didn't need a bath. She lives outside. Um, she wasn't pure white. She was, you know, kind of a beigey kind of color. So, you know, you can socialize, you can teach to walk on a leash, and you can potty train. Those are not, you just take her out in public, you walk with her on a leash, you keep it kind of short. When they're trying to cross in front of you, you just bump them a little bit with your, for me, it'd be my right knee because I'm right-handed. And you just nudge them and you, I mean, that stuff, you can, you can do that. And I have read, I haven't read it recently, but I have read that you can also correct that nervous pee-pee. But you can't always do it. You can, you just can't always do it. And y'all, it broke my heart. But I knew that that would... I'm sitting here with my lights on. Um, that would bother me. And... I mean, I can't remember. It was years ago when I went over to a friend's house and I walked in and her little dog ran up to me just wagging and wagging. And I reached down and pet the little dog and she peed all over my feet. And my friend goes, I'm sorry. She just does that when she gets excited. I'm glad I had on some ratty tennis shoes. But, so, you know, if I'd have known 100% that I could fix that in Chobby, she would be at my house right now. But that's just something that would bother me. Now, I don't have a lot of company, but still, if you're walking in PetSmart, you know, and somebody comes up and wants to give her a little loving and she pees on them, um, that's not good. So, I just wanted all of you naysayers to realize that number one I am not going to grab the first baby that comes along I'm not I learned valuable lessons when I got Miss Hazel y'all are saying go to a pound go to a pound go to a pound no no you do not know their personality. You don't. I got Miss Hazel at a pound. And I didn't know that she was a Cujo in a little tiny body. I didn't know that. Until after I got her. And I'd had her for about a week. And I was just totally in love with that little girl. And I was not going to give her up for anything. But I learned my lesson about that. And that was 13 years ago. It was a long time ago. I was younger. Um, you know, this time... I would like to have a baby that is more uh, not Cujo. 
I, I think that's what I would like to have. I would take her back in a second. But I'm pretty dog savvy. Um, I'm not going to run out and get a St. Bernard that's going to tear up my yard, that's going to uh, jump on my fence and make that lay down, and he's going to run off and, you know, no, that's not going to happen. It's not. I knew exactly how to test this baby. I know what I can deal with, and I know what I can't. And, um, you know, have a little faith in me, you guys. Have a little faith. You know, I'm not the smartest thing on earth, but but I really have um, some common sense, and I have experience. I've had lots of dogs throughout my life. I've rescued and rehomed, and I've had situations where I've had to rehome a baby before. Um, you know... But, and here's the thing about you're saying, save a life, save a life. What do you think these rescue groups are doing? They go to these shelters. They go to the pound. And they get these little animals that are on the list to be euthanized. And they rescue them. They're placed in foster homes with families. Some of these families have children. They've got other dogs. They've got cats. They've got rabbits. One lady has got parrots. Um, sometimes it's a single person. It's a couple. It's a retired couple. I mean, all walks of life. And so these little animals... The people know their personalities, and they're honest with you about it. And this man was honest with me. He could have said, oh, she does good in the house. She stays in the yard, but when she comes in, oh, yeah, she's, pot, she's house trained. He could have lied about that, but he was very honest with me. She's not... She's not around, you know. He said, my daughter comes over and, you know, a couple of my family, but that's all. She doesn't go anywhere. She doesn't ride in the car lot. So he was honest. And um, so, you know, guys, uh, when you get an animal from a rescue group and you pay that fee to them now twelve hundred dollars for a little mixed breed is ridiculous but i would have paid her rehoming or adoption fee, whatever you want to do it, Wh whatever you want to call it, um, because she was, except for that ping, oh, and yeah, if she was well socialized and housebroken, I mean, she would have been a perfect little dog. You're not going to find a perfect dog. Just like you don't find perfect people. Except for me. You know, I'm perfect. But anyway, y'all, just have a little faith in me. I was so good to Miss Hazel. And I, I, we just dealt with her issues. That no one could pet her hardly at all. Caravan Carolyn could. Because she didn't care. 
She didn't care if Miss Hazel snapped at her. She just scooped her up and held her. But I just dealt with all of that because I loved her. I still love her. I still miss my baby. But y'all, I have to do something about this hole in my life. I can't get her back. So, a friend of mine gets alerts um, and um, sends me, uh, you know, tips on the alerts she gets. And I am going to tell y'all this, and I have said this before, but there's a lot of you new folks here, and hello, and the ones of y'all that don't comment very much, thank you. Thank you for saying hello. Uh, I love that. Every once in a while, Sam Finn pops up. And um, Gone Fishing, I think I saw a little comment from him. Um, but I always said that if anything happened to Miss Hazel, I would want another standard poodle. And I told my friend that a long time ago. I said, if anything happens to Miss Hazel, that's... That would be my number one choice. Now, a standard poodle, a real, they don't have to have papers, not pedigreed, but a standard poodle would cost you $1,500. Now, no. So, it'll be a mix, and that's, that's wonderful. But y'all, I'm not going to get a dog that is going to go berserk. Do I need that kind of stress in my life? I've got Terry for that. Um, but anyway, I, I just hope y'all understand that, you know, unless the dog was a con artist, then, uh, I think I can, I think I can test a little and observe and, you know, I think, I think I can do that. And, uh, yeah, I would take a standard poodle mix in a heartbeat. You know, one of the things that is my pet peeve, and that is shedding. I, I can't help that. I can't help that. But anyway, I love y'all to pieces, but just please have a little faith in me. And this whole looking process is hard. It's like... You look here, and then you look there, and you, and, and I've really been, um, coaching myself, because you see these little dogs, like that all black chihuahua I showed y'all a picture of, Treble, he was adorable, and I, you know, I probably would have been happy with him. But I want to try to uh, find what I really want. I'm not in a big hurry. I still have Miss Hazel on my nightstand. I've got her in the living room. I chat with her. We talk about what's going on everywhere. Um, so, you know... I don't want to just snatch up a little baby because my heart's broken. 
and because I'm lonely and because my house is empty and because when I go inside, it's just this incomplete feeling. There's something missing. And yeah, it's Miss Hazel. She's missing. And I, I can't, I can't bring her back. I wish I could. But anyway, y'all, I'm just going on and on and on. But please, like I said, have a little faith in me. And you know, I'm always honest with you guys. And you know what? You who said something about me trying to get people to send me money. Do you ever see my PayPal up? Do you ever? No, you do not. The last time I put it up, somebody asked me for it. And I put it up, and then it was gone. I, I, you know... You worry about your own self, and you worry about your own uh, e-begging, whatever it is, but you don't worry about mine, okay? And if you don't like my channel, get the heck out. I don't have a chokehold on you. I'll be happy to show you the door, okay? So, kiss my patootie. <laughs> Who was that that used to say that all the time? Kiss my patootie. But um, I think she was on Roseanne. But anyway, y'all, I love you. I totally understand you guys thought I was going to get ripped off. I was going to get robbed. Uh, I'm aware that Craigslist is kind of a crazy place. I wouldn't, I'm not going to somebody's house. I'm not going to some stranger's house. Even if I had Terry with me. What is Terry going to do? Hit him with his cane? You meet in public. It's like a blind date. You don't let him pick you up. You don't meet him at his apartment. You meet in public. When you're going to see a little animal, you meet in public. You just use your noodle. Anyway, y'all, I got to go. Jerry's at home working on something. And uh, I have no idea. But do something fun. Every day, my heart is breaking for our country and other countries as well. Okay? We just, I don't know, y'all. I don't even want to talk about it. But I love you guys. And I will get to comments as soon as I can. Okay? Bye.